everybody, this is me and yesterday Mickey's gonna get a bit of a makeover. We're gonna be clipping, yes we are, hey? So Mickey at the moment is so, so fluffy because um, he actually has Cushing's disease so it means that he really struggles to get rid of his summer coat so he never really has like a molting season or sheds like all of this fluff. He has almost double fluff because he still has a summer coat and he's got his winter coat that's come through so he's so fluffy at the moment so um, today because we are going to be clipping him the reason mainly is so he isn't too fluffy because if not you're going to get quite warm because it's quite a warm sunny day today like I'm just in a t-shirt and for him right now with all this fluff it's like him wearing loads of really thick winter coats hey so we don't want him to get oh you've got a bit of an eye gunk we don't want him getting too hot but also because he's a cremello he has really sensitive skin so especially on his legs we will be clipping them mainly as well because um he has really sensitive skin we've tried leaving his hair long on his legs sometimes it does work for horses it protects their legs it's sort of like a mud barrier but we find for him it's better if we do clip them because it means that the areas that are sore they get a bit itchy um, we can put cream on and it just means we can get to those areas easier it also means um, when we put him in a stable we can wash his legs off before so his legs are nice and dry during the night rather than being wet and muddy and just staying wet and muddy all night um, so that's what we're gonna be doing today we're gonna be clipping him oh my goodness Mickey you're very tired you've got lots of yawns but before we clip him obviously I need to clean him he has been washed so as you can see here he's pearly white he's nice and clean but then the rest of him where his rug hasn't been oh Mickey will you stand still please the rest of him where his rug hasn't been such as his neck here is very dirty his tail is just awful um, he doesn't really pick up his tail when he does a poo so his butt and his back legs are just disgusting so I'm gonna have to give you a little bit of a wash mix hey oh my gosh look at all that dandruff and dander oh my gosh Mickey Mickey as you can tell has very sensitive skin which gets very dry so um, that's a bit gross mate nice all right mix let's try and get this mud off you hey we might need to sort your mane out as well because don't really know what you've done to it no there we go Good boy. Let's do your face nice and gently. Nice and gentle. Yeah. Oh, does that feel good? Are you falling asleep? Yeah? Oh, Mickey's favourite scratchy spot is under his chin. Just look at him, he loves it. Good man. Got more this side as well. I got a feeling that this could be a little more confusing. If I'm being honest, honestly, you got me where you want it. <laughs> you got me playing every card and spending all my time trying to find out more about you. Because I really want you. So I've just given Mickey's mane a brush and you can really see just how fluffy he is. He's going to feel so much better once he's been clipped because at the moment Mickey does three different things. He eats, he sleeps and he just scratches absolutely everywhere because of his sensitive skin. Don't worry, he doesn't have worms. We wormed him. He's all good. He's just a sensitive skin. He'll be scratching his chin, his neck, everything. But he just looks so much smarter just after me giving him a quick groom. Oh, have you got a little bit of a cough? little old man cough oh you're very tired today he keeps yawning anyway he looks very nice after i've just brushed his mane i might sort his mane out afterwards today just because he's been scratching so much that he's rubbed quite a lot of it out so it's got quite thin and quite scraggly and there's like bits that are missing and bits that are shorter so i kind of just want to make it all the same length but i'll see how i feel once you're all smart and clipped hey oh my goodness you're so tired so I think the next thing I need to do now is actually wash his tail and his back legs because they are absolutely filthy. So dirty. Oh, you want to have a little, a little chew of my mane and tail brush, eh? Oh dear, looks like we're running out of shampoo. That's not very good. That's what happens when you have three light coloured horses or three grey horses. <laughs> oh my goodness, Mickey. That's like 
brown. That is actually grim. I swear, I just wash Mickey's tail all the time and he never keeps it clean. There we go. That's looking so much better and I've only just put like a tiny bit of shampoo and water on. Look at all these brown bubbles. It's like chocolate milk in here now. This is literally scrub, scrub, scrub till the water goes brown. Oh my gosh, that is disgusting. I think we might need to get a second bucket. Ah, Mickey, don't walk away. Let's just dunk the whole tail in. There we go. It's the tail wash. Do, 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 do. Oh, I can use his tail to mix the bowl around. Okay. So I'm currently trying to brush through Mickey's tail because I feel like that might help to get some of the mud and poo and stuff out of this because this is just grim. Um, but just a little top tip that whenever you are working behind your horse or um, brushing a horse's tail, anything like that, just be careful that you don't get kicked. So it's always good to stand to the side. I'm a little bit more relaxed around Mickey, which I probably shouldn't be, but I've had him for almost 11 years now. So I know what he's like. And if he's unhappy, he'll let me know before he kicks me. <laughs> um, but oh my goodness, that's the biggest tangle. I might need to get some more shampoo or something on this because this is not good, Mickey. This is disgusting. I splash myself. No. Cause I really want you in my space, picking up every car. All right, so I now have my clippers. Uh, Mickey is a champ at being clipped. He's always so good and he actually falls asleep. I think he really enjoys it. Um, so anyway, now it's time to get through this really thick coat. I've actually just changed the clipper blades. So Mickey has different ones to Casper because Casper, I do more of a skin tight clip. Um, so the hairs are a lot shorter, but with Mickey's, I just want him, I don't want him to be like super skin tight and things because obviously he's not being ridden. I don't need to worry about him being like completely nakey nakey, no. But um, <laughs> so this just means that the hairs are a little bit longer. So he still has a little bit of a coat. It's just not as thick and fluffy and wild and mammoth like as it is now. So let's go, Mick. Are you excited to be clipped? Cool. My heart's been ripped wide open. So many mixed emotions. It's like I finally noticed. I've been set free, I've been set free I spent a lifetime running Fearing what I'd become if I Stop playing goalie on all of my thoughts yeah. Speaking out straight from my heart but now I see But now I see Oh I see this love is taking over Breaking through my chest and
see this love is taking over, breaking through my chest and overflowing. With every single beat, it pulls me closer, closer to you. I'm never gonna hold back being someone to lean on. I'll always be that to a info call when you need one. When everything in life is getting harder to show, I'll be your soldier. My heart's been ripping wide open, 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 wide open. My heart's been ripping. Wide So now Mickey is clipped. Obviously there are some bits that need to neaten up, but I think I didn't do too bad of a job. Especially it has little patches like here, and especially here is a very sensitive area. It's not too bad on this side, the other side was a bit worse, but he does have little scurfy patches where he has this really sensitive skin. And um, so it's really good that we've clipped him that we're able to medicate them areas. Like here is not as nice, especially here. There are little patches where um, it's just like lots of dead skin and it's very sensitive, yeah. So the next thing I'm actually gonna do is um, cut his feathers off because I'm gonna be clipping his legs again just for his comfort and so we can get to those scaly scabby areas and make them better yes make them better um, but because Mickey has such hairy legs I'm gonna have to cut them first before we clip them if not I don't think the clippers will be able to get through like they might but I think it'll just be easier to cut the hairs off 3 a.m. I call just to hear your voice at the dawn should I hang it up can't decide I'm going back and forth you away and we're done just like that something about you is pulling me back and i'm holding Right, guys so the next thing I'm going to do is neaten up Mickey's mane I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter just because as you can see there are patches here that he's rubbed out and I just want to make it all the same length also it's so thin I don't want to pull it to make it shorter just because it is thin enough as it is also Mickey doesn't really like having his mane pulled so I'm gonna use scissors I know scissors are a big no-no in the horse world but I can make it look quite natural with my sort of scissor method and especially with it being quite thin I think it can look quite nice so um, we'll have a little snip usually I start from the top to the bottom but because it's shorter down here at the bottom I just think it'll be easier so I'm gonna make it a lot like longer than I want it to be so then I can always take more off later because you can't really stick the mane back on once you cut it a little bit here oh Mickey wow I haven't seen him with short mane since ages ago it's been so okay Mickey this is the bit where you should not be moving lots
guys so I'm currently giving Mickey a little lunge um, just to blow off some steam after being clipped because he got a little bit wriggly to finish with so there are some patches that I've maybe missed or could have neatened up but I feel like he's been such a good boy uh, I'm just gonna let him have a little run around which he's been itching to do for so long and um, especially on his head and his legs he just had enough but that's fine you know horses are horses they're not machines when they've had enough, you've got to listen to them. So just let you have a little lunge right now, a little run around and it seems to be really enjoying it. Mickey Ho. Oh my goodness. Ah ho. Good boy. Do you want to come on in? Good man. In you come. And stand. Good boy! Should we get you some treats? Yeah. Good night. I got a feeling that this could be a little more than feelings. If I'm being honest, honestly, you got me where you want it. You got me playing every card and spinning all my time Trying to find out more about you all right guys so now i'm giving mickey his treats for being such a good boy um we have spent quite a long time faffing around doing his mane doing his legs doing his face which he wasn't a big fan of so it's not the neatest your face no but i'll neaten up another day when you're a bit more patient hey um so i've just um brushed mickey off got all the loose hairs off put on a cooler and also just a turnout rug over the top to make sure that um you don't get too wet or muddy because he's going to go back out into the field now with joey and casper so it should be good fun so well done mickey for being such a good boy and thank you you guys for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed seeing mickey's little trans Transformation. He's going to be feeling so much better now he's been clipped, aren't you mate? So if you're new or haven't done so already, please like and subscribe as I really do appreciate it. Um, thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Good boy.